to come into this game. If you look at all those names unavailable, pretty daunting. Let's check out Indiana's starting lineup. They've got Tyrese Halliburton, Miles Turner out there with Pascal Siakam. Then it's Neesmith. And it's Nemhard in at the two guard. And for the Knicks, Hart is out there with OG Ananobi. Then there's Dante DiVincenzo. Then it's Jalen Brunson. And it's Hartenstein in at the center, filling out the middle. Look at Indiana. Well, you wonder, Greg, don't you, how much they've got left in the tank? They spent a lot of energy getting through the first round series. No doubt. And, and they better. Having to play these first two games on the road, never an easy task. But you get to this point of the season, and adrenaline gives you all the energy you need. And to be honest, I'm more concerned about their talent level than their energy level. Brunson kicks to DiVincenzo. Now, here's Ananobi. D right on him. Six on the shot clock. And here is DiVincenzo. Siakam pulls it in. Pass to Nemo. DiVincenzo against Siakam. It's Turner high post. Here's the pass to Nemo. Over Hart. It's despite the tough D. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. DiVincenzo kicks to Hart. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. And stolen by Siakam. Here's Neesmith. And Neesmith with the slam. Boy, Pascal Siakam plays at his own pace, able to find the open man. Passes it to Ananobi. Back to Brunson. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It goes on Tyrese Halliburton. The Knicks shooting their first free throws here tonight. Falls for Brunson. Boy, the maturation of Brunson is really special. This guy, phenomenal as scorer and facilitator. That misses, so he splits the free throws. So, first quarter just over a minute and a half in. Nemhard, the pass to Halliburton. Turner with a screen on Brunson. And there's the feed to Turner. No one covered. So out of the gates, three for three, exactly what they're looking for. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for New York. It's a five-point game. Pass to DiVincenzo. Hart finds Brunson. No good on the triple. Pacers have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Here's Siakam. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. You know, we talk about Lang defensively. Siakam so long offensively trying to get a challenge on him. You are often going to put him at the line. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Siakam. I think what's probably surprised me the most about Pascal Siakam is how prepared he is to be the primary scorer for an excellent team in the NBA. This guy has shown no hesitation. Good on both. Here's Brunson. Pass to Hartenstein. 
If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Now, Ananobi, six to shoot, and he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. What's up? Two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Halliburton against Brunson. Now the pass to Neesmith. He kicks it to Turner. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one goes on Ananobi. Miles Turner has the length and athleticism that should have the attention of the defense, guys. Indiana shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. One drops. Well, Miles Turner has a lot of value in today's NBA. This guy's got length, athleticism, excellent shot blocker. He could space the floor with the ability to make those jumpers. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Next trail by six. Pass to Hartenstein. About three minutes into this first quarter. Hart kicks to Ananobi. Just five to shoot. New York needs to get off a shot. Hartenstein. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And this will be his second and third shots at the line here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Jackson, he's checked in for Indiana. And he can't hit the second. Pacers leading by five. Siakam with it. And it's tonight. And really, despite that miss, they've had a solid start offensively. Has to want an open. Now here's Brunson. Over Halliburton. New York, no good that time either. And so it's Halliburton who brings up the ball for Indiana. Pass to Neesmith. Now Jackson. The pass to Neesmith. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Nemar. Hits it from three-point range. Nemard's got five now. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Passes to Juan open. New York moving it around. Here's Brunson. He can't get that one. Excellent defense there from Halliburton. And they're one of five to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. Jackson setting the pick here for Halliburton. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Knicks trail by eight. Now, here's DiVincenzo. Scoreless thus far. I'll tell you, that vertical ability he has puts him in select company in NBA power forwards. May not have great size, but boy, he plays bigger than it. Here's Siakam. 
inside for Halliburton. It's good from long range. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. For New York, they've gone 2 of 6 in the field. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Boy, that's quality defense. Jalen Brunson just keeps his composure and focus. Nemhard the pass to Jackson. Halliburton with it. Driving to the basket. And there's the foul. He'll go on Josh Hunt. That is his first foul of the game. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. And well, they didn't make it this far by giving up easy ones. And now their defense is in overdrive. And so here is Indiana. They lead by seven. Aston Emma. And despite that miss, a strong start for them offensively. A three-pointer, no good. To the paint. Cuts off the pass. And here we go. Fast break. Halliburton's got it. And it's blocked by Brunson. Pass to DiVincenzo. Now Ananobi. Down low. Here's Brunson. Finds the hole for the second time from the floor. Now two for five. What you see is continued improvement in his ability to create for others. Great to see OG Ananobi make the open read. Jackson a screen on Hart. Here's Siaka. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Let's take this chance now to show you the list of the postseason scoring leaders. The fourth spot held by Tyrese Halliburton. And, of course, Jalen Brunson. And whether it's been attacking off the bounce or pulling up, both these guys have been lighting it up. And he can't get the first one. Achua, he's checked in for the Knicks. the second from the line. Knicks trail by six. And here's Brunson. He's got five. Siakam pulls it in. Well, this has not been a quarter to remember for this guy. He looks completely flustered. Nemhard's shot is good. I'll tell you, Pascal Siakam has shown he is more than capable of passing the rock. The pass to Hartenstein. And here is Achua, covered by Siakam. Brunson kicks to DiVincenzo. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Just doing the job on the backboard. Halliburton passes to Nemo. Outside for Halliburton. Three corners off the mark. The Knicks have gone 4 of 10 shooting the ball here in the first quarter. Shot from 16. The shot's good from Brunson. Brunson's got seven points in the game. We know that the defense in today's NBA wants to take away the rim and the three. Mr. Brunson says, I'll take that mid-range. Passes it to Halliburton. Austin Eastmith. Four on the shot clock. Baseline J on the way. Shots good by Siakam. Five points in the game. Boy, Siakam with a hand in his face. Excellent concentration. Brunson against Halliburton. Here's a chew up. That shot, no good. Good D by Siakam. Pacers leading by nine. Pass to Nemhart. And here's Halliburton. Jackson with the screen. Puts it up from 12. 
And it's Halliburton missing. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. Even Chenzo passes to Brunson. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Well, they're not behind because of this guy. He is putting on a tremendous run. On the pass to Jackson. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Pacers. Uh, they've looked to fire as much as possible from outside the arc, and so far they are hitting at a high clip. Yeah, what an excellent display. Both teams deciding to change it up. And he's good on the second. Knicks trail by seven. And so New York calls timeout. They're first. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. Passes it to Hartenstein. Stolen by Jackson. Inside. And Siakam throws it down. Yeah, I have to love the aggression right there. He's got the vertical. Might as well put it to good use. Brunson surveying the D. Over McConnell. The shot's good from Brunson. Brunson's got 12. Well, individually, he is doing everything he can in this 12-minute session, but he's just not getting enough help. Here, Shepard. Robinson pulls it in. Pass to McGrunk. Pass to Brunson. Brunson draws the double. Here's McBride. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. And now it's just a four-point Indiana lead. The beauty of Jalen Brunson, you can play him at the one or the two, but we know he's always going to put the pass on time and on target. Siakam nails the wide-open jump shot. He's got nine. Nothing better than a hustle play like that. It gets the whole team amped up, sets the example for everyone. Hey, right here. Here's a chew Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Obi Toppin. For New York, they have made three of five free throw attempts. Shoot two. And 
And that one falls for Achua. OG Ananobi's checked in for Hartenstein. And the Pacers also making a change. Halliburton's checked in for Jackson. And both free throws good for Achua. And so it's McConnell with it. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. Four-point game. Siakam against Robinson. Siakam outside. Shot clock at five. Over Robinson. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. That's why they call him Spicy P, cooking up a mid-range J. Go ahead, Pascal. The pass to Brunson. Over McConnell. Robinson kicks to Brunson. Brunson draws the double. Achua, no good. Pacers leading by six. To the right side. Siakam inside. Robinson on him. Excellent D that time from Robinson. And Brunson has it in the corner. Tries from 16, and it goes down two points. Brunson's got 14 points for the game. Yeah, I simply stated Jalen Brunson filling it up right now. There are no signs that he's slowing down anytime soon. Halliburton feeling it out a bit. It's deflected. Out of bounds. Pacers ball as Indiana keeps possession. McConnell and that would have counted but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. Pascal Siakam getting it done for Indiana scoring rebounding he was all over the place during that quarter they are writing his performance right now right back after this break And you are back with us live as we bring you continuing coverage of the Eastern Conference semifinals. And take a look at the Pacers' performance here, guys. Uh, what are your thoughts? Well, they used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. And we know this. Every team in the league now seems to be looking to play with pace. Indiana leading by four. They've got OG Ananobi. Achua is out there with Mitchell Robinson. Then it's Jalen Brunson. And it's McBride in at the two. They're the group New York will start the second one. Uh, he's so disciplined as a playmaker. Tyrese Halliburton sees what's happening. It's just going to take the opportunity. Brunson against McConnell. Robinson sets a screen for Brunson. And the rejection by Jackson. Halliburton inside the three-point line. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. And so it's New York with it. Trailing here by eight. Pope loose. Brunson against McConnell. Toppin. Back to McConnell. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Here's Jackson. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's on Mitchell Robinson. 
This is his second trip to the line in this one. Free throw, no good. And the second free throw, good. Quarter number two, we're about a minute in. Brunson against McConnell. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Well, how about that conversion by Jalen Brunson? This has become a staple of his game. For New York, they have gone five of seven from the free throw line in the game. We play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. Passes it to Jackson. It's rebounded by Ananobi. Next trail by six. Pass to McGraw. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played. Robinson kicks to Ananobi. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assist. Nice job by OG Ananobi to be aggressive from distance. McConnell scanning the floor. Here's Halliburton. Nice contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And double teaming him is the only thing that's going to cool him off at this point. He is on a roll. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Exactly the type of point guard every team would love to have. Here's McBride. He's covered by Halliburton. Brunson draws the double. Bucket six. Here's a two. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And while we have a chance, let's now take a look at the NBA's season assist leaders. In the third spot, Tyrese Halliburton. And it seems like he's taking it on his shoulders to get every one of his teammates involved in the offense here in the postseason. What a passing display. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. And New York making a change here. Even Genzo's checked in. And he sinks the second. Pacers leading by five. Pass to Jackson. Back to McConnell. Five on the clock. He feeds it to Topple. 
And stolen by Achua. Yeah, good job to take it right at the game. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. The Knicks have shot 70% from the free throw line tonight, 7 for 10. one is off. The Knicks making a switch here. McBride's checked in. Good on the second free throw. And here's Halliburton. He'll bring it up for Indiana. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. And Mitchell Robinson is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And still early in the period. And they're only one foul away from being over the limit. And New York making a change here. Ananobi's checked in. Jackson passes to Shepard. Burton outside. Shot clock at six. Jackson with the screen. Indiana again missing. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. Now here's DiVincenzo. Tight defense on him. And there's the pass to Ananobi. New York moving the ball around. They get a hand on it and stolen by McConnell. Fast break. Here comes Indiana. It's rebounded by Ananobi. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. Brunson draws the double. Robinson finds DiVincenzo. Can't hit the corner three. Pacers leading by four. This is it to McConnell. The shot. No good. Brunson with some nice D. To the inside. Ananobi. Good. Ananobi's got five now. Boy, how do you match up with OG Ananobi's length and athleticism? This guy is going to be able to get shots off because of both of those. Defense! Defense! Pass to McConnell. The three. It's rebounded by New York. Now, Ananobi. Five points in the game. Brunson kicks to DiVincenzo. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. For Indiana, they've gone three of eight from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Well, I'll tell you, he does not let the potential contact impede his progress. Toppin is aggressive. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. down the first one. It's always fun to watch a young player like Obi Toppin adapt to the lead. He has done a really good job rising to the challenge of NBA level play. Josh Hart, he's checked in for the Knicks. He's perfect from the line this time. Knicks trail by four. with it. He's got 17. Pass to Ananobi. Shoots over Turner and he can't bank that one in. The Pacers shooting 38% in the second quarter. Defensively they look a little bit confused. Tapping a screen on Brunson. Halliburton gets to Toppin. That's good and it's Halliburton with the assist. Toppin's got five points so far. The shooting fundamentals are real plus for Obi Toppin. He has consistent mechanics and a high release point. Here's Brunson. Excellent defense there from Halliburton. Pacers leading by seven. Here 
Here's Nemard. Eight points for him. Turner with the screen. Here's Nemhard. Brunson covering. Five to shoot. Here's Halliburton. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. This is where Halliburton keeps you off balance. Defense never sure if he's going to make a pass. That time he up fakes you into a foul. For Indiana, they have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. That's good from Halbert. Burton hits them both. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, this is why you hate to lose momentum. It can be hard to get it back. Here's Hart. Now the pass to Brunson. New York moving it around. On an OB. That falls. Nice feed that time from Brunson. Brunson's got three assists tonight. Indiana leading by six. Nemhard the pass to Neesmith. Here's Nemhard. Pass it to Siakam. For the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. This is what makes Siakam special, right? The big man that can put it on the deck and get past you. What a pretty triple drive. Brunson against Halliburton. That's in, and the Pacer lead is cut down to six points. That one good from Brunson. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. With the fadeaway. The shot by Turner, no good. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. DiVincenzo finds Brunson, and the Knicks hit again from deep. One of the things you love about Jalen Brunson, he takes quality shots. How about that look from three? Siakam against Hart. Siakam the bounce pass. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. 
Brunson the pass to Robinson. Back to Brunson. Up top, DiVincenzo. Pass to Brunson. Six on the shot clock. Brunson draws the double. And the wide open shot from DiVincenzo. That falls. Nice feed that time from Brunson. Brunson's got four assists in the game. And so it's Halliburton who brings up the ball for the Indiana Pacers. Siakam sets a screen for Halliburton. Stolen by Robinson. Even Chenzo with it. Halliburton picks him up. What you love about Mitchell Robinson is his ability to read and react to the opponent. Really good defensive instincts on display. So timeout call here. The first for Indiana. He's checked in for New York. Pacers have gone 5 of 12 from the field here in the second. Siakam deciding where to go with it. Pass to Nemar. Now here's Turner. He's tightly guarded. Clock at four. Brings it from nine feet away. Turner's got his second bucket of the night. Yeah, Miles Turner can carve space. Don't let that lean frame fool you. He can get inside and score deep. Brunson kicks to Hart. For three. Brunson, no good. The Pacers have gone 6 of 13 so far from the field here in the second quarter. Halliburton against Brunson. Over to the left wing. Nemo. And the three ball is good. And now it's a three-point pacer lead. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. Halliburton against Brunson. Here's Hartenstein. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Miles Turner. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. He misses the free throw. He hits the second from the line. Indiana's gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. McConnell against Brunson. The pass to Neesmith. Pass to Nemo. 
Just five on the clock. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Neesmith can't get it to go. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Brunson draws the double. Got a hand on it, and they get it back. And out of bounds as the Pacers gain possession. And Indiana making a change here. Toppins checked in. And so it's McConnell with it. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Now, here's Neesmith. And here is Toppin. Six to shoot. Siakam, high post. It's deflected. Hard against Toppin. Pass to Hartenstein. Pass to Ananobi. Got a piece of it. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ananobi. Here's McConnell. Hasn't made one yet. And the pass to Nemo. Tapping a screen on DiVincenzo. Nemhard, the pass to McConnell. Tapping a screen on Brunson. To the middle. Passes to Nemhard. Just two to shoot. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. New York calls timeout. One oh four left in the first half of the game. Brunson against McConnell. Brunson the pass to Hartenstein. This will make four trips to the line so far in the game. good on that one. And he's good on the second. Pacers leading by three. Pass to Siakam. A steal. 
Here's Hartenstein. Covered by Siakam. Runs in the pass to DiVincenzo. 32 seconds left to play here in the half. Brunson goes in. Two points. That one goes. Brunson's got 24. Jalen Brunson outstanding at finding avenues to the cup. We've got 22 seconds left in the first half. Pass to Nemhart. Like it's it. Screen by Siakam. A shot by Nemhart. No good. Tom T. Brunson. And that one released in time, but no good. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Pacers lead by one. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Here with Coach Tibbs. You're hanging in there. What's the key to get control of this game? Uh, we got to get some stops. That's the big thing. We fell behind to start the game, starting to work our way back. And uh, we got to keep it going, but we got to get stops so we get out and run. Never a surprise that defense is first in coach's mind. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. Greetings, one and all. The postseason drama we love and no disappointment here as it's a close game so far for the Indiana Pacers. Playoff atmosphere. Hostile environment, man. They're handling the pressure, putting themselves in a good spot to win. Hard to focus with thousands of fans screaming at you. They've stayed in it. They've stayed confident. And looking at where the Knicks stand in this series. The lead in this series is up for grabs. How important is it to start off with a win? To me, it's crucial because it sets the tone. Ernie, Kenny, you always want to be a step ahead like I'm a step ahead of you guys. Mm, I agree with Shaq, but the playoffs are about adjustments. If you lose, hopefully you learn, and then you bounce back. Good points. I don't get to say that very often. Thank you for being with us. Now let's send it to Kevin Harlan for the second half tip. And we're ready to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. You know, Jalen Brunson has been exceptional here, guys. Wow. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. And we're back for more exciting action from the Eastern Conference semifinal. Here's who Rick Carlisle is starting the second half with. Neesmith is out there with Pascal Siakam. Then there's Tyrese Halliburton. Then it's turn. And it's Nemhard in at the shooting guard position. Always good to get another look at a terrific defensive play. And that block was something. It's the playoffs, and every possession and defensive stop matters. Inside. Here's Nemhard. Siakam for three. The shot, no good. Some solid defense from Hart. And, and gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. Brunson finds DiVincenzo. Here's Hart. And it's sent back by Turner. Are you talking six foot 11 and big time length? Send it back, Mr. Turner. Lee Smith, the pass to Turner. Here's Halliburton. The pass to Nemo. Five on the clock. Turner with a screen on DiVincenzo. A shot by Nemo, no good. 
pressured that shot by getting a hand up just as good as a block. And he did it without fouling, and that's become an art, changing shots without making contact. They now take the lead. Brunson's got the first points of the second half here for New York. And Siakam has got the ball here for Indiana. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Brunson against Halliburton. Shot from 12. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's just a savvy move to draw the foul. And despite that young age, Halliburton like a seasoned veteran right there. He's got free throw attempts number four and five here. Shoot two. The first free throw is good. good as he hits both of his shots third quarter here over a minute and a half into it passes it to Hartenstein pass to DiVincenzo off target from outside definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look they have yet to hit a shot a real slow start here in the second half Here's Hartenstein, covered by Siakam. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brunson. That'll be his second foul of the game. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Indiana's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Pass to Turner. Now Halliburton. Let's it go from 11. It's rebounded by New York. Brunson's got four rebounds now tonight. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Boy, as slow a start as you can have. Just one for four from the field. They're struggling. Got that one up quick. Halliburton's got five points in the quarter. You can see Turner evolving as a passer. He wants to set his teammates up. That's a pretty look. There's the pass to DiVincenzo. Now, here's Hananobi. Not a lot of room. Over Neesmith. Passes it to Hart. Even Shenzo with it. Some nice passing by New York here. Second shot opportunity. That one goes in. Even Shenzo's got five now. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Nemhard defended by DiVincenzo. The 11 footer. Nemhard's shot is good. 15 points in the game. Knicks trail by four. Ananobi with the screen for Brunson. Count it and the foul. It goes on Aaron Neesman. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. He's made two of his three attempted tonight. Pacers have gone two of six from the field here in the third. Tipped away, and that's out of bounds. Indiana will retain possession. Turner passes to Neesmith. Here's Nemhard. Now Turner. 
He's got six. Can't cash in on the ten foot jump. Lost to DiVincenzo. Wilson with it. He's covered by Halliburton. And Hart has it in the corner. No up that time on the shot that would have. Put them on top. Nemhard, the pass to Halliburton. So the wing on the left. Now, here's Neesmith. Here's Turner. Hits the jump hook. Turner's got eight. Knicks trail by three. Ananobi with the screen for Brunson. Pass to Ananobi. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It goes on Aaron Neesman. OG Ananobi is tremendously athletic. And when he plays with this level of aggression, it's hard not to foul him. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Pacers. Nothing free about free throws. You earn your way to the line and give credit to these guys for being aggressive offensively. I think the other thing we're seeing tonight is the floor spacing of this team. Boy, they are shooting the cover off the basketball all game. The first one falls for him. Well, the more opportunity that has been given to OG and Anobi, the more this young man shines. He is a multi-dimensional talent. Gives you great defense nightly and growing on the offensive end. He makes one of two that time. Indiana's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Outside turn. The pass to Halliburton. Driving the lane. And Turner with the slam. And Miles Turner showing off a little bit of athletic ability. No doubt on that one. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. Here's Brunson. He has 29. Oh, and an OB in position. And it's denied. Sent back by Siakam. Halliburton outside. Passes it to Neesmith. Wants to get it to Turner and does. Shoots. It's rebounded by New York. What a masterful job on the defensive end. Did everything possible to alter that shot. Pass to Brunson. Here's Hartenstein. Oh! It's rebounded by Indiana. Siakam's got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Halliburton. Shoots over Brunson. The shot's good from Halliburton. Halliburton's got 19 points. You see Halliburton has the ability to rise above most defenders with the length. Just puts it to great use there. There's the pass to Brunson. Over Halliburton. That's in. And the Pacer lead is cut down to four points. The basket there from Brunson. Boy, as we reach the latter stages, he's been in a ridiculous groove. They simply can't get over the hump. Turner with a screen on Brunson. Here's Halliburton. No one near Turner as he lets it go. No good from outside. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Hart with it. Back to Brunson. It's a very good look and converts. Brunson's got nine points in the quarter. Yeah, just masterful use of the pick and roll by Jalen Brunson. Shot ready as soon as he wants to let it fly. Halliburton drives in. And yes, it's good. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. Nice work at the line so far, going 5 for 5. The Knicks making a switch here. 
Nick Bride's checked in. Obi Toppin's checked in for Indiana. Good from Halbert. Knicks trail by five. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here. And they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Vincenzo finds Hart. Here's McBride. Knocked loose. Tries to keep it alive. Out of bounds. Indiana takes possession. Burton outside. And here's the break. And McBride gets it to go. McBride's got five points so far. Pacers leading by three. This is it to turn. And here's Halliburton. The 10 foot rebounded by Hart. Hart's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Pass to DiVincenzo. Here's Hartenstein. Pass to Ananobi. And he hits it to tie the game up. Ananobi's got four points this quarter. OG Ananobi increasingly dangerous with his jumper. Nice catch and shoot opportunity there. Turner up top. Ten points for him. And it's Halliburton missing. New York's gotten a three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. E. Vincenzo. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Indiana's gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. Indiana moving it around. Toppin good. Wow, from the arc, Toppin shoots with real authority. You can tell it's an area of the floor that he's comfortable. Here's McBride. He's covered by Halliburton. Ananobi passes to McBride. Back to Ananobi. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. It's going to be on Siakam. 
Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. This will be his third free throw shot of the game. Mitchell Robinson's checked in for the Knicks. Achua comes in for Dante DiVincenzo. Indiana's gone two of five with a three-point shot since coming out of the break. The pass to Siakam. And for Robinson, that's good by Siakam. Siakam's got 15 points. New York trailing. Here's McBride. Five points in the game. Two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. This is his first chance at the line tonight. The first one at the line is good. Jalen Brunson is checked in for OG and an OB. Both good from the line that time. And the Pacers with possession here. Down low. Here's Siakam. That's good, and it's Halliburton with the assist. And that's 17 points for Siakam. New York's gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it, nine times they've missed. Brunson against McConnell. Kept alive, Achua in the corner. Here's Hartenstein. He's got six, just four to shoot. Here's McBride. Here's Robinson. And finished off by Robinson. Yeah, Mitchell Robinson, if you fail to get a body on him, he will go to the offensive glass and make you pay. And Halliburton's got the ball here for Indiana. And here is Coppin. Eight points for him. Knocked away. Siakam outside. Steps back and fires. That's good on the jump shot. And that's 19 points for Siakam. This guy's got incredible all-around skill set. Pascal Siakam from the paint. Yes, sir. There's a screen. Here's Brunson. Takes the elbow jumper and trains it. Brunson's got the game tied up here for New York. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot. Hot. For the three. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. Halliburton's vision and then the ability to thread the needle there makes the defense pay. Here's McBride. Excellent defense there from Halliburton. Pacers leading by three. Nine feet out. That one a little long. And mark that one down right there. It's going to be a long time until we see him miss another one like that. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. McConnell against Brunson. Robinson sets a screen for Brunson. Off target from three-point range. From deep three-point territory. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. Tyrese Halliburton has been on display for the Indiana Pacers. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
And now we take a listen into the recent huddle from Tom Thibodeau. You guys got to read the ball better. Stay in the stand. Read the ball. All pressure. Everybody talking. Oh. And you know, Greg, when the defense is lacking, Tom will definitely let you know about it. <laughs> He doesn't hold back, and his players respect him for it. He wants them to improve their effort. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Robinson is out there with Precious Achua. Then it's OG Ananobi. Then it's Jalen Brunson. And it's McBride in a two-guard position. That's the five for New York right now. Here's Shepard. That's good, and it's Halliburton with the assist. And no matter who it is, that kind of D isn't going to get it done. Knicks trail by six. Runs in the pass to McBride. Now, here's Ananobi. Defense is right there. Passes it to McBride. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. On the wing, Jackson. On deep. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got eight rebounds in this game. Ananobi kicks to Brunson. Here's McBride. It's rebounded by Indiana. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Toppin finds Halliburton. Indiana moving the ball around. Shepard, that's good. Shepard's got the lead up to nine now for the Pacers. Their third three-pointer in a row. Runs in the pass to Ananobi. Back to Brunson. Brunson draws the double. They set the pick. Here's McBride. Rebounded by Jackson. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that goal streak. He is trying to shoot his way out of it. And it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. Pass to Robinson. Back to Brunson. Looking to end the run. And good! He nails it. Brunson's got 37. Boy, how about the awareness from the big man? We think of Mr. Robinson as a shot blocker. What a pretty pass. McConnell kicks to Halliburton. Back to McConnell. Jackson a screen on Brunson. McConnell passes to Halbert. That three off the mark. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. And the foul on Obi Toppin. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Hard, he's checked in for the Knicks. And Indiana with a change here, too. Nemhard's checked in. Brunson draws the double. Here's McBride. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. Brunson's got five assists tonight. You know, the rest of the D can be stretched a little thin in the double teams in place like that. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over.
and the wait is now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Well, during that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear Rick Carlisle's message to his team. He's happy with how they've been playing. He told them, hey, they had their chance, but this is where we take it from them. This is our game and our series. He's got them pretty fired up, Kevin. All right, David, thanks. Now, Choppin. Gas to Shepard. Here's Nemhard. To the paint. Here's Jackson. Robinson with the block. This guy's nose for the basketball, and his timing as a shot blocker is intimidating. Mitchell Robinson so quick off his feet. Halliburton kicks to Toppin. Five to shoot. Here's Nemo. And he's good on the three ball. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. Brunson against Halliburton. Brunson the pass to Hart. To the inside. And there's the pass to McRun. Robbed up there for Robinson. Throws down the alley -oop slam. Guys, he's such a big target. On the alley, you throw it up. Mr. Robinson, the only one in the building who could catch it and finish. Brunson against Halliburton. Out left of the wing. Run past the arc. And it's Shepard missing. You can't miss those, but even the best do on occasion. Achua, but don't play Achua. Oh, Kevin, not a petty, not a Manny, but a face. Oh, bounce to the outs, Greg, yeah. Show it off the bunny. Jackson with the screen. Nemhard the pass to Jackson. Misses in close. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. The Pacers moving it up, and Jackson throws it down hard. That's just good awareness from top and willing to get it to the open guy immediately. Love the unselfishness. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Finds Ananobi. Brunson draws the double. Pass to Hart. From downtown. Wow, came this close to a four point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Well, one of the last guys you want to send to the free throw line, Jalen Brunson has proven he can knock these in. That free throw, no good. And some changes here for the Pacers. Miles Turner comes in for Isaiah Jackson. And it's Pascal Siakam in for Toppin. And the second free throw, good. the third and here are the Pacers now they've led by as many as 11 points down low and Turner the bucket on the assist by Halliburton Halliburton's got assist number nine now 
Wow, what an effort here tonight. Brunson against Halliburton. Fires for three. Brunson, no good. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Turner passes to Nemo. Now Halliburton. This one for three. A shot by Nemhard, no good. Knicks trail by eight. Pass to Brunson. Fires the three. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Well, two long-range bombs in the first, but that's stalled out right now. Pass to Shepard. Now here's Turner. Defended by DiVincenzo. Four on the clock. Halliburton is double. Siakam for three. That falls. Nice feed that time from Halliburton. Halliburton's got ten assists here tonight. So active. Brunson against Halliburton. Now here's Brunson. He's guarded closely. That is Jalen Brunson showing you how to operate as the ball handler in pick and roll. What a pretty assist. Halliburton against Brunson. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. And doing a really good job here of pounding it inside in the second half. Sound strategy with the lead. Neesmith, he's checked in for the Pacers. Continue, Kevin. Their outstanding free throw shooting. That'll help them seal the deal. Knicks trail by 12. Now here's DiVincenzo. And the pass to Brunson. Inside, Hartenstein. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First one falls. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And so it's Indiana with it. Ten-point lead. Here's Neesmith. Halliburton outside. Siakam passes to Neesmith. Misses the three. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. Park kicks to Brunson. Even Shenzo with it. Hart the pass to Brunson. Some nice passing by New York here. And here is Hart. Shoots over Turner. New York, no good that time either. That's an example of great defense. His teammates love that about him. Always why the shooters struggle against this guy. Here's Halliburton. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. Yeah, that, that's a pass he's got to catch. Maybe just starting to relax a little too much with that lead. And so Ananobi will bring it up for the New York Knicks, trailing by 10. You really got to tip your cap to him in terms of how he's played today, even if they end up losing this game. Siakam outside. And at the top of the key, Turner. Rebounded by Hart. 
Hart's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Passes to Brunson. Here's Hartenstein. Covered by Siakam. Tries it from nine. And that one is good from Hartenstein. Hartenstein's got six here in this quarter. That pass was about the location. Puts it perfectly into the hands of his teammate. Denise Smith jacks up a three. That's good, and it's Halliburton with the assist. Halliburton's got his assist totals piling up. 11 now for him. Pass to Hartenstein. Now the pass to Brunson. Here's Hartenstein. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Miles Turner. And that one misses. And he's letting a lot of points get away at the free throw line tonight. It's got to be frustrating to have all that hard work not pay off. And he sinks the second. Here's Halliburton. Burton is double. Here's Neesmith from outside off the mark. Knicks trail by eight. Hart finds Brunson. Now oh, here's Hart. He's guarded closer. Nemhard the pass to Halliburton. A floater and the rebound goes to the Knicks. Hartenstein's got 14, yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. And Ananobi slams it in. Well, let's remember this is six foot eight with some hops. OG Ananobi with the dunk. Brunson against Halliburton. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on Jalen Brunson. a seven-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight-point game. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. They're trailing by eight. 143 left to play here in the fourth.
143 left in the fourth. Now, DiVincenzo. Here's Hananobi. That falls. Nice speed that time from Brunson. Brunson's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Pacers leading by five. Now, here is Halliburton. This is a dilemma. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Hartenstein passes to Brunson. here in the fourth quarter. Going to the rack with energy in the D, afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defender. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. Halliburton against Brunson. Fires the three. Demar's shot is good. And the Pacers lead by six. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc, a key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection. Swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. Hart, that's good. Absolutely essential that they come right back and answer with that three of their own. And this gets the crowd energized. Can't afford any wasted possessions down the stretch. I'll tell you, they better come up with some points on every possession from now on. And an intentional foul right there. That, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Four-point cushion. And so both free throws are good. And it's a five-point game. Yeah, two-possession game now after knocking both of those down. New York calls timeout. They trail by five. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. DiVincenzo finds Brunson. Back to DiVincenzo. It falls! And he has brought them to within two points. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolute... 
absolutely no fear. To me, more often than not, when you attack, good things happen. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. the first one and that makes it a three-point lead and we know how dangerous Halliburton is from the strike not a guy you want to foul so he goes two for two at the line and it's a four-point ball game well this trip to the line should seal the deal amazing job has to hunt launches a three unable to get that one So a close game sees Indiana take this one. A pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. That'll do it for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference semifinals. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now our New Balance player of the game. Tyrese Halliburton.